Hey there, refurbers and scruffy looking nerf herders. It's me, scruffy looking RGB. We're gonna mod this scruffy looking Game Boy Pocket. We have a funny playing IPS screen, a new shell with some scruffy custom casted buttons, which I will reveal at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get scruffy looking. Before we start, let's see how this scruffy looking pocket functions first. Batteries, game, power on. A little contrast. Okay, nice, it's working. That is great news. So if you couldn't tell, this guy is not pumping out any sound. So let's test the headphone jack. Nice. The headphone jack is working quite well. We can really crank up the sound with these. I just happen to have a replacement speaker on hand, so I'm gonna swap it out right quick. Let's test it out by putting it back in the old shell for a few seconds. That is the magic sound. Great. Let's dust this motherboard off with some IPA, a cotton swab, and a go-between. These are dental hygiene products. I'm not sure what they're called in your neck of the woods, but they're readily available here in Japan at the drugstore. They come in very handy when cleaning little jacks and ports and things like that. So fresh and so cleaned. Now to the mod. This funny playing IPS screen here. Before you install it, you should really check if it works first. So I've already soldered this wire to the power terminal, which needs to then be soldered just under the power switch. The flex cable has been installed into the motherboard here off camera. Okay, that looks fantastic. Glad this is working with the Papua Coon in there. Now we're ready for business. Oh yeah, that is one beautiful shell. First things first, we're gonna install the screen into the new shell. Be sure to take out the backing in the middle first so you can actually see what the screen looks like. I've tried to get fancy with the cutting so the sticky backing doesn't hold so tight on the shell in case I wanna replace it, but I ended up damaging the screen and all in all, I would just go back and completely take the sticky backing off and just put it on as is. I wouldn't finagle with it anymore. So don't make my mistake. Okay, before we install the screen, take off the protective plastic. The screen goes in nice and snug. No need for spacers or bezels, it just fits. One good point about using the funny playing shells. Stick the buttons in and the pads. I'm using this plastic from the screen to act as an insulator between the motherboard and the back of the screen. Insert the flex cable latch the bale. Now to solder the power cable to this point here. Great. Slap the back half of the shell on and do another quick test. Excellent. Put in the power switch. Add the remaining motherboard screws. Put the back on. Make sure everything lines up and there is no bulging. Add the final screws in the shell. Batteries, battery door, power. There we go. 
There we go, we got brightness too. That looks awesome, look at that. These buttons would make Liberace jealous. Just look at that bling. This IPS screen is 11% larger than the original dot matrix screen and has 36 different screen color combinations, which is a lot of fun to play with in my opinion. This pocket has turned out to be my daily driver. I find myself playing games on it more than any other console I own. I use it mostly during transit from and to work on the train. A set of rechargeable batteries lasts me three or four days of playing with about an hour a day. My favorite part of this mod has to be the buttons. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but they really make this shell pop. But you guys let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you have a Game Boy Pocket that you're thinking about installing one of these funny playing kits on? Don't forget to let me know about it down in the comments. If you like this video and you want to see more, consider becoming a scruffy looking RGB crew member. You get special perks including the use of exclusive emojis, members only posts and videos, your name goes into the hat for special prize drawings, and of course you get to help out a fellow struggling scruffy looking nerf herder. The funds will go to purchase new mods and equipment that improve the quality of the channel. Big shout out to the current members. Thank you all for your support. Whether you're a member or not, I do appreciate all your support. Hope you all are staying safe wherever you may be. But above all, stay scruffy looking. Who's scruffy looking?